What's going on? FishTankTV.com and YouTube. Coming at you with my 55 gallon reef tank. Looking horrible. And I'm about to explain why I have such a horrible cyanobacteria outbreak. It's nothing to fear. My nitrates, phosphates, and everything's at zero. So why am I getting this? And I'm about to explain. Probably about two months ago, my or a month ago, probably a month ago, something around there, my pump went bad and my sump, my return pump, it was a 330 gallon per hour pump. Um, I upgraded that last night to a 560 gallon per hour pump. I had to put a divider on it so it cuts back because the 560 gallon per hour flow is too much for my, I think, half inch over, DIY overflow to take in. It was going to overflow. Also, I've got a new toy on here. This is a uh, Marine Land Maxi Jet, which you can turn into a power head or a um, circulation pump. And I put on the circulation pump. This was intentionally for the 125. I'm going to do another video on that. Got some great things going on with that. Finally recovering. Um, I'm going to have a Blackbeard Algae episode coming up. This is pumping out 1,200 gallons per hour in the saltwater tank. And you can see it's just blasting the cyano off. It's already dying off. And I've only had oxygen going on this tank for a day. So. This is where I'm going at. How come cyanobacteria forms in the aquarium? It happens for a couple of reasons. Either toxins in the water or too much nutrients in the water, too much light, or too little oxygen. Okay, it's kind of like algae in the wild. When there's not enough oxygen, protists, algae appear, and plants appear. And this protists and algae that are photosynthetic is going to take in the CO2 in the water and it's going to pump out oxygen. So as long as fish were inside of the tank, pumping out CO2, cyanobacteria was thriving on that CO2 just like a plant and pumping out oxygen. So at some points when the uh, lights were on high all day with 200 and some watts going on the tank, um, you could see it actually purling. The glass would be just bubbling with oxygen. It was crazy. Um, so just for the day, cyanobacteria is already starting to uh, die off because oxygen is getting poured into the sump. Also, my light fixture I'm using for this uh, sump is the gooseneck lamp that uh, Mike Vegas Surfer and somebody else uses um, on his, uh, what was it, his shell dweller tank, his tank on shell dweller, shell dweller tank. It's got a high efficiency uh, fluorescent compact bulb in there. It's rated 100 watts but only uses 13 watts of energy or something like that. It's got 2,000 what no, 1,600 lumens, so it's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grow a lot of chetamorph in here and stuff. And probably put the seahorse down here since I don't want to waste electricity. Um, we'll talk about the seahorses later. Yes, we're still going to do seahorses. Don't worry, it's coming. Be patient. Got a lot of stuff going on right now. School, work. When you grow up, you'll find out what I mean. <laughs> so, uh... Tank's looking, it's going back on track. It looks horrible. It does. For the next video, I guarantee I pump out. It's going to have less cyanobacteria. Once I do this, um, the next thing I'm going to get for this tank is macroalgae so we can work on this, get the macroalgae in here, get a garden. Maybe I won't need a protein skimmer. Probably install a deep sand bed in here maybe in the future. Um, that's my first thing I want to work on is, this, is getting macroalgae in this tank. Uh, you can see the water quality. It does need replacement of Kenny Pure Elite. It's looking a little yellow. Um, I do have Kemi Pure Elite down there, but it's 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 kind of old, so I've got to replace it. Uh, everything's doing fine in here. The fish are fine. They're hiding yellow tang, royal grama's kind of camera shy, maroon clownfish right there, two oscillaris right there. Um, they're doing great, guys. Just doing great. And also, I've got timers on the lights now. I did that last night too, so the lights will go out on. They're on eight hours. Um, this stays on all day because if you, some people leave the sump on all day. Some people leave the sump on when the main system goes off because when this goes off and this is off too, your pH will drop. But if you leave say this goes off and this comes on or it stays on all the time, it won't have a pH fluctuation. It'll keep your pH constant. Um, so when lights are on, it's going to raise pH. When lights go out, pH drops. So got a lot of big plans in here. If I don't put seahorses in here, I'm probably going to put shrimp down here because um, I just obviously like shrimp. Or I might put the maroon down here if it gets too aggressive, and I can put shrimp up in the main display. Um, definitely going to be stocking this thing with corals once it gets cleaned up. Um, just too much nutrients in here. I got to get some plants growing in here. That way I can pull up the nutrients in the tank. Uh, cyanobacteria is going to disappear once oxygen levels go back up to normal because, I mean, I've got anaerobic bacteria in this tank and everything. So it's all good. It's just, uh, it's just a really, 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 really big mess that i got to work on it. Um, here's a quick look at the 125.